Hi, welcome to my channel Process Simulation and today we will look into the basics of uh, pipe sim and how the how the pipe sim work and how can we size a line using a pipe sim. So moving forward, pipe sim is used for uh, steady state hydraulics for uh, single the fluid so single phase and and as well as for the multi phase also. So let's get into it. So this is called workspace and this was I told to you and this here you have all the boundary nodes and all the internal nodes connections and other points are there. At home you will find the perspective uh, N means uh, gas network and W means well. We will be only looking into the network right now. And here are the settings uh, flow line manager, uh, zone manager and fluid manager. This fluid manager is very important to, to vectorize any crude or any two phase or single phase into the pipe sim. Okay, this is the R result manager. So moving forward, let's uh, pick a one source and a, and a pick a one sink. So for joining these two lines, we need to have a one line flow line, and this is the flow line I'm talking about. So that's great. So this is the flow line and this is the source and sink. Now we have to first go and characterize a fluid manager into it. So let's go with the block oil. Black oil means that you have to provide GOR, water cut and, and density of oil and density of, uh, of water and the molecular weight of of uh, any gas to characterize the crude. That's all you need. You didn't have to need to have any all other properties such as uh, uh, so, uh, so, such as composition and all these things. So far, right now we are going with the none. The good thing about none is that it will not take many things from there. So from the GOR, let's select the GOR of of around 45-700. So it's mostly a gas we will take about and we will take the water cut is around mostly 25%. So API we will say that that we will have the molecular weight. So from API we will go to density and density we will say that okay we will have A50. Density water is good and molecular weight we are going with a, with a little slightly higher molecular weight gas and let's talk it at 1.8 close. So we'll go into the source. And first, we have to select uh, the uh, which is a fluid. So we go and select the fluid. So right now, uh, 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 what I need to I need to find the uh, I, what I need. What I, right now I need to find the the pressure at the starting end. What pressure I need to at the starting end to reach my pipeline around 35 km away uh, to a junction point. And I know the what's the pressure at the junction point. So let's keep the at 50. And let's take the liquid volumetric flow rate, it's around 10,000 barrels per day. It's liquid, it means it will take oil and water both. And if I go and click on mass, so it will only take the gas, and mass it will take the complete. So, liquid, I have already as well some water cut, so you can get it. And so, we are saying that we need to maintain 450 psi g pressure here. I don't have the complete uh, profile here. So we will just go and, and we see the horizontal distance will be 35 km and we will take some undulations. The line size, let's go and first select 10 inch and see what's the uh, uh, pressure drop and what the velocity we are getting. After that we will go more and see that how either it is good, 8 is good inch or 12 is good, 12 is good inch. So let's start with 10 inch, 30 inch schedule go up with so now everything is categorized you can see there is no line no new brand so what we can do now we can go and click network simulation so once we go on network simulation it will run and tell us what the things are there So 
so it is saying that to make 450 psi g pressure at that point that is 35 km away we need to have around 1100 psi g at the starting point uh, and for the velocity if we need to name we can see the velocity going to profile we select both of it so for the velocity what we are getting the mean velocity in meter per second is quite low liquid hold because it's a two phase so liquid hold up is there EVR is also with are, are much controlled but uh, the maximum velocity we are getting is 1.19 but uh, the still is still uh, we are getting too much uh, much pressure drop the reason is that the line is around 35 km away 35 km is a big distance so 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 to meet that so so just this is just an example for you so you can see that how we are changing how the velocity in we are getting and how the liquid holdup is in the liquid holdup is changing based on the uh, duration that we put but if we have a correct uh, elevation profile we will put a better one so what we do we, we will do a one more case in in this case we will reduce the flow from 10,000 to 7,000 and see how much our line will react now You will see that how much uh, pressure uh, in, will be decreased in this case. So in this case also, oh, oh, I think that's not. I think I forgot to click it. So now, because we have reduced the flow rate, and I think for the same water cut, now we are getting around around 1250 psi pressure at the discharge. So, what's the reason for it? Reason, reason for it is that one minute. So what happened when we are reducing the flow? So when we are reducing the uh, flow in the overall liquid line, uh, it's happening that what actually happened the, the thing is that uh, because it's a cooling effect uh, our gas is getting cooled so in that way uh, when the gas getting cooled uh, our, our gas mm CFD is increasing and which is causing the high uh, two phase flow rate and that's why our pressure is more dropping rather than uh, more pressure drop is increased rather than it has to be decreased since the flow rate is low but the thing is that due to this temperature we are getting the high gas flow rate and based on that gas it's making two phase and based on you can see that the start of the flow is only 0.13 mm CFD and then we can only we get to 0 0.62 0 so this is the way we are causing the things I will show you one more time with the 10,000 flow rate
so here you see there the difference is not that much in the gas and thing. that is the reason that we are getting and the, the high and the, this is actually not a standard actually standard will uh, so this is the reason why we are getting high pressure drop and we are reducing the flow so guys that's all for the today's session uh, see you in the next session with the advanced uh, uh, network uh, hydraulic simulation till then take care yourself bye